guys welcome here to something that's a little bit different um this game is called Eidolon it just came out within the last week or so on Steam and I bought it directly actually from the studio that made this game I'll put the link down to go buy it in the description it was only $15 I know absolutely nothing about this game other than what I've seen from the website which I'll read the excerpt here in a second and from watching the introductory video by Red Panner Gamer, that's how I heard about this. He's famous for his 365 days of Animal Crossing City Folk. And this... I'll go ahead and let me just read what's here on the website. Eidolon is a game about exploring a mysterious landscape and uncovering the stories of the people who lived there once before. It is a game about history, curiosity, interconnectedness, and the slow and inevitable beauty of life. You'll be dropped into the dreamy and mystical Western Washington circa 2400 CE with a bow, fishing rod, and little to guide your way. Awaiting you is a vast landscape filled with wildlife, edible plants, and the memories of our now dead culture. Stored in artifacts such as journals, sketchbooks, newspapers, signs, brochures, transcripts, and more. You must spend your fleeting moments moving through this place, collecting these memories, and piecing together what happened to these people, both from a historical perspective and a much more personal one. So, we're here taking place up here in Washington, um, and I'm spending my, I've spent my entire summer so far, I'm going to be out here for a whole 10 weeks, um, 8 weeks in, out here in the Pacific Northwest myself, from the coastal range to the Cascades to the deserts to the volcanoes, to the valleys, I have been all over the place, Portland, I have been, I have been out here, and it is really a very unique place wilderness-wise, and very, very pretty, and I just felt like a draw to this, it, I'm so curious, because they don't tell, there's no information on the game, I haven't, I I'm, could have probably watched somebody else try and let's play, I found like one or two other YouTubers that were doing it, but I just didn't want to spoil anything so I know absolutely nothing about this so I think the format I want to do for these videos um, especially if you guys enjoy it or are intrigued by it because it's very mysterious I will say this now though it is not a horror game it's not a horror survival like the last of us or something which that game my dad and I have not been able to finish it because it's just too terrifying it's too gross <laughs> even for two EMTs um, that game is just too much we have so this is going to be much more relaxing. Um, this is I'm going to try and treat these videos as, as slow paced, enjoy the wildlife, enjoy the scenery, and it'll probably be more of a journal journal styled game. Um, we'll do, we'll do it that way instead of just a let's play. Let me just do straight 20 minutes. It'll be kind of like a little bit of a journal. I might be skipping some parts, recapping what I've done off screen. I was having a little bit trouble recording it, but I changed it because it was at you know 1920 by 1080, and I turned it down to 1020 by um, 748 or whatever the resolution was um, I'll show you real quick the settings oh no it actually is on that but it seems to be running better now so I'm leaving it I'm not gonna touch it if it's if it's doing fine it's doing much better now um, controls we've got a menu we have a book of some sort we can run um, move jump so left click is interact right click is to use a tool swap tools and just move it to look around very basic controls I love this the settings here credits um very small group of people that made this it was we'll talk we'll talk more about this and now when i have more information on that but um that's it that, that's it so let's go ahead and click play and see what happens and that's that we are playing the game right now this is very very unique start menu what you see is what you get you press start and you start you can see it's raining, it's weather, the time ticks past, and it is gorgeous. I mean, I was just watching Red Panic Gamer play. When I saw the night sky, I was like, I need to play this game now. Um, but look at the look at it out there. I mean, at first you see these trees in the ground, and you're like, this doesn't look very good. And then you just look around, and it's awesome. So this series for sure is going to have that ASMR kind of feel. Um, to it. So let's try, let's try walking around. Actually, escape brings up the menu. Okay, so this goes to the menu, but we don't need this. Tab was the book. Alright, here is what we get. Um, again, I, I am not sure. This is some sort of menu. I did watch the announcement trailer. It's like a, a minute, 30 seconds long. 
and I did notice you can collect notes of some sort, so I'm guessing this is where these go. Um, this is a globe, have absolutely no idea what goes here. Uh, backpack, I'm guessing this is our inventory, we don't have anything. And then this, I think, is where we can type, yes. So very, very cool. I will for sure, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do, yeah, we'll keep it by day. Instead of doing it by journal, we'll do it by day, and I'm going to keep notes of all these things that happen. So this will be very cool. I'm very excited for this. Um, this, I would click this right now, but I did see Red Panda Gamer click it, and it makes you sleep. We don't want to do that right now. Um, I do know, because that'll just do nothing but pass time, and I don't want to do that yet. So we'll click this. Um, it appears... He thought this was a camera of some sorts, but I'm not sure what this... I think this is just some sort of smartphone, almost, I want to say, that we have. Um, it says it's midnight right now. It's not midnight. And then it has cell phone service and it's weather, like there's storms nearby or something. Although the clouds look like they've cleared. Um, don't know what that does. That doesn't do anything. Don't know what this does. This doesn't do anything. Uh, first aid, I think this is really the only information and useful stuff we get right now. Um, rested, move faster after sleeping. This will fade with time. So we are rested right now. Warning, due to your distance from a beacon, your vitals are subject to extreme changes, including death. So we're outside of some civilization, some our local area, which is maybe why we've lost connection here. So that's that. Let's go back to this. I think that was tab, right? Well, we're here on a hillside of sorts, so maybe we should just jump. I guess we'll go down, right? We shall go down. That's what I would do. If I was surviving out in the wilderness, I would... I would go down for sure. Music is very tranquil, and I love the sound effects. mushrooms hey we got two mushrooms um looks like oh yeah there they go they showed up in there okay cool so we got some mushrooms oh and tinder that'll probably be useful so they're actually they're really small the things on the ground to pick up i almost wouldn't notice them is that more mushrooms there no there's some down here though ah I was waiting for the damage noise. Didn't hear anything. Four mushrooms that time. So peaceful. So these videos will probably just come up whenever through the week. I could make this my weekend series, but um, hope you guys did enjoy Tornado Survival. I don't want to talk about that in this episode because I'd like to keep this separate. Here come the clouds over the mountain. Get some more rain showers. Oh, the birds flew away. Ah, oh, look at that big mountain. I'm assuming the way this game works is I can go wherever I see. Whatever I see, I can go to. I'm, I'm under that impression. So if I wanted to climb to the top of that, I'm assuming that I can without too much trouble. to the water I do know there's tools you can get I'm um, in the trailer I saw them shooting stuff with the bow and arrow and I saw red panda gamer f attempt to fish so I only watched half his video there because I, I realized I didn't want to spoil anything because I kind of wanted to explore this on my own but this for place does look the same place he was at so you might spawn in the same place everybody Every new person might spawn in the same place. So as this game is out, you know, it might be the same. I don't know if it forces you 
to maybe go in a specific path in a specific direction or if it's completely open world and every person that plays this is probably going to get different like i could have maybe gone up over the peak instead i have no idea i'm not sure what that would um what that would entail That thing flashed, so I think that is an item worth picking up. I think that's what that is. Some sort of item. This is very, very tranquil. Oh, I guess I can run, can I? Oh, yeah, I can. Sorry. Oh, so cold. I touched the water. Ooh, no. He, don't like the, he doesn't like the water. It's very cold. Sorry, I should have been running. Um, we got a fishing rod, so I believe I can just do this. There we go. Alright, there we go. I think we just wait. Because you can see it doesn't look like a string's attached <laughs> to my bobber. And I didn't put any bait on it, technically. I don't think fish eat mushrooms. Oh, oh, there we go. Got a fish. So I guess I'll sit here and I'll gather some food. It's starting to get night, so maybe I can just sleep out here. It's going under the water. I don't like that. I don't think that's how it's supposed to go. I'll wait another moment just in case. Oh, no, I still don't get one. Oh, it's getting dark. I want to wait to see the night sky. I just want to stare at the night sky for a little bit. So we're going to fish until we can until we can do that. not seem when I think of survival games like this I if you guys ever read the book the road I had to read that for my IB English class and I loved it it was probably the, my favorite book that we read in my two years of IB English back in high school and that book is I, when you think about things an event that has caused nature to overrun everything you usually think about nature being destroyed right or at least there not being any animals. Because you think of nuclear holocaust. Um, some sort of... You, you, I guess you could you could think of some... There was some sort of epidemic that caused like everybody to leave this region. Oh, the stars are coming out. Everybody left this region. And maybe it didn't affect the animals. And wildlife has taken over after 100 or 200 years. Um... So it's always just interesting to me, like, what would the, what kind of event would cause the people to leave, but the rest of the wilderness and the rest of nature to be okay? It's starting to get dark. So let's check our inventory. At one tinder, we have a... I guess I can burn these. Okay, so if I click on them, I can... Okay, I can eat the f mushrooms, and I can eat the fish. I assume the mushrooms won't do anything. Click on first aid here. We seem to be content, so I can't see. There's oh, there's something flashing over there. Do you guys see that right there, straight ahead? Those green things. We'll have to. We'll go see those in the morning. Look at the sky. It's getting awesome. Let's um, let's try burning this tinder. Let's see what this does for us. Uh, actually, let's type in our journal real quick. Day one. Found some mushrooms. Haven't tried to eat them yet. Also found a fishing rod. And caught some fish. Noticed flashing 
lights and the distance will ex will investigate. just in case we have something else to put in. Um, let's do, let's try burning this tender. Built a campfire. Oh, I'm standing in the fire. Wow, guys, just look at this. I mean, oh, I'm in the water. I'm in the water. Warm up, warm up. I mean, look at that. Just wow. I mean I saw I saw skies. Unfortunately the one time I was way out there. We were in the Cascades, it was very stormy. And then when I was out in the desert, they just had massive wildfires, so there's thick smoke high up. Um and then there was also like you know, they got some the Arizona monsoon, so there was some high anvil overflow blocking the star so i really didn't get to see it but i, I mean i've seen this like out of, at my camp or in the mountains but i mean just that's so pretty that is something flashing over there do you think that that's it's almost eerie one's like purple and one's like green because this one was a white one which is an item i'm not sure if it was flashing though just I'm loving this this is so fantastic I, I mean guys look at this this is just awesome play this with the lights out for sure because I don't you know it's really hard to enjoy nights and survival games like this because you always got crazy stuff maybe we'll get attacked by a bear um, either way let's go ahead I think this will sleep us until the next time change the occident Evanescent, the substance of an artist's mood or save and study longs of warriors, matrons, heroes, tales to fashion his idol on. Okay, that's some sort of poetry there. Um, for those who don't know what idol on is, I. Oh, look, it's the morning, it's so foggy. Oh my gosh. Let's eat some fish some fish night sky was amazing the tinder burned nicely okay so we are on day two already we're gonna go investigate those lights I guess I should smother fire Oh, I can rekindle. I'll smother it then and just leave it um, here in case we ever come back. It's just like, this is, I mean, this is so perfect. Like, we were camping near a reservoir in one of the experimental forests. Because some, we were doing some research there, some field work. And it's just like, you just wake up in the morning and you've got like, you know, six, eight thousand foot peaks next to you. And it's just foggy all over the reservoir. Just... <sighs> We're never going to actually play this game. We're just going to look around at it the whole time. So we're going to take a quick sprint, actually. Um, since we didn't really get officially tired before we went to sleep. So we got a full day of exploration for us. we got plenty of food right now, it looks like. So we're going to go run over and investigate those flashing lights. I have absolutely no idea what those could be. So the fog looks to be thinning. Oh yeah, there they are right there. See them? One is green, one is purple. Should I be somewhat afraid or? No, they're just orbs. They're just, they're just orbs sitting here. Which one should we get first? That might actually be white. That might not be purple. Maybe that one was purple back there. We'll get the green one first. Let's see what this is. Oh, 
It's a note. It's a map. Is it a map? Is this what this is? Oh, look. It is a map. Bellevue is this way. I'm guessing these are tr these are the trees and the mountains. I'm guessing these are water. Creek. I don't know. I want these look like they could be like telephone poles. Is this a road? Are these bushes or snowflakes? Olympia. Oh yeah, we are in Washington. I wonder if they actually did it. Derp, there's a compass map right here, north, south, east, west. It is a map. It is a map. I wonder where we are on that. Hmm. Hmm. Is there more water over there? Oh yeah, it looks like maybe. What? We need the fog to burn off, but there's water there. But it doesn't appear to be the water that has islands in it or a creek flowing into it. So I'm thinking it's possible it could be this one. I don't think it's any of those. It doesn't look like that. Let's get the let's get this and see what this is. What is that? A compass. Okay, so this is due north. So we this is the way the map is aligned. So let's try and see if we can get our bearings here. Here is a lake. It's north. So if that lake is this lake, then we would be about right here. So then behind us should be a lake with a little creek coming out of it. So let's go test our hypothesis and see if that is indeed the case. It does not look like it is. It doesn't look like it is. There's a big cliff right there. Yeah, I don't think that... Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Season 10 of Tornado Survival has begun. Click here in the top right to see the first episode in that series. If you'd like to check out my Minecraft server, Avius, click here in the top left. Click the link below to follow me on Twitter to get the latest on my channel. And if you've liked what you've seen so far, click the big banner below to subscribe.